Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Brindis. Today, I'm going to show you what we are going to have for dinner. This is my first time to cook this kind of recipe, so I wanted to share it with you. A while ago, I went to the supermarket, actually, uh, Asian supermarket, and I found these crabs, which is frozen because we cannot have here in Iceland fresh from the sea. So I decided to buy two pieces. So I'm going to cook for tonight. So let's get to the ingredients. By the way, if you haven't subscribed in my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the notification bell below so you will be updated for more videos to come. So let's go! So first thing first, olive oil. Then I'm going to add my ginger. Once we finish to saute the ginger, let's add the onion. And once the onion turns transparent, we can add our garlic. Garlic, I mean the onion is almost cooked and it's beginning to turn transparent. Then after a few minutes, we can add our garlic. Now our garlic, I mean, now our onion is cooked, we can add our garlic. Then cook it for a few minutes. So we can go ahead with our, with the rest of our ingredients. So now guys, I'm going to add the crumbs. We also add this one, the cover of the crumb, or I don't know how you call that, the shell. You have to simmer it for 5 to 10 minutes until the crab turns red, the color. By the way guys, I finished to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius so I can bake my pink salmon.
So guys, my crabs is almost cooked. I need to uh, put it aside in a few minutes so I can saute the rest of the ingredients. Mmm, smells good. My God. I cannot do my diet today. Because hey, who can resist this? Look at that. If you are in my kitchen, guys, you can smell the, the flavor, the, the aroma of ginger and, and the garlic and the onion mmm yum almost 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 done So in the same pot, I'm going to saute my tofu. So my tofu is ready. Now I have to put it aside. In the same pan, we will saute our uh, bean sprout. I use half of the bean sprout because it's too much and I think I'm the only one will eat this because my son RJ has his pink salmon. Let's add a little bit of soya sauce. Now I'm going to add my chives. Thank you. 
taste it. Mm. Now I'm going to set it aside as well. Now guys, I'm going to put the orange juice, soya sauce in the pan, and I add a little bit of black pepper as well. Now let's cook the noodles. By the way, I soaked the noodles a while ago in uh, a little bit, I mean, lack warm water. So, technically, this is already cooked. So now we will add the rest of our ingredients. Tofu and the crabs. Then we have to simmer it, or I have to simmer it for at least 5 to 10 minutes. So the flavor of the crab will go to into the noodles. Cover it for a while. And it's good, we add a little bit of a dash of chili flakes. To add more kick on our crab, guys. Because a little bit, I love a little bit of spiciness when I am cooking. Looks so delicious. So my noodles is cooked. I'm going to add the bean sprout that I set aside a while ago. Because I like my bean sprout, it's still crunchy. So now I'm going to add into the crab meat. Like what I said, this is my first time to make this kind of recipe. I'm only inventing this because I'm craving something good to eat. So, this is my ideas, guys. This is only my idea of cooking. But just in case you have your own way, of course, it's up to you. But this one, this is my way, and I love to have some, uh, what is this called, bean sprout. So, now, this is ready. Look at that, it's already colorful, guys. Let's try. With the tofu. Mm. Yum. Mm. And last but not the least, I'm going to sprinkle some 
sesame oil to add more savory. And that's it. Thank you guys all for watching in my YouTube channel. And just in case you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, Miss Bry65. And don't forget to click the notification bell below so you will be able to watch my upcoming video. Bye everyone! Have a nice day! So guys, let's eat! I forgot to get a serving spoon. Wait. So, let's eat guys! I cannot find a tongue guys, so, I mean a uh, serving spoon, so I just get this tongue. I think I add so much of noodles. So, well, I can eat it later, guys. But I think it's a good idea. Only around 250 grams of noodles. So, guys, let's dig in. I think to you I have to use my hands guys because I cannot get the meat from the crab. Mm. But just in case you will cook this recipe guys you have to be very careful because when you crack the crabs some of the shell will mix to the food and you might chew it so you must be careful mm. yum You know, when I went to Philippines, I keep eating crabs, but not a mud crab like this. I don't know why. In Cebu, I can I hardly can find a mud crab. So we only have lambay there in Cebu. If you know lambay, lambay in Bisaya, it's a kind of crab, which is from the sea this one the crab mud crab is from the mud mm. so that's it guys i'm done Thank you for watching in my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe Miss Bry 65 blog. And don't forget to click the notification bell below so you will be able to watch my upcoming video. Bye everyone. Have a nice day.